Hello guys and welcome back to the Blues Focus YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be ranking the championship 22-23 home shirts that have been released so far. Um, I think we're missing two kits from Reading and Luton, uh, but we're going to just get into it now um, before, obviously can't really wait too much longer. Season's starting soon, so the first of all, let's get into this. We've got Hull, Hull up first. Now, <laughs> obviously newly sponsored by Corandon Airlines, the Turkish company after the new ownership. And a club, I, I mean, I think it's quite a nice kit. Um, obviously, the blackout away kit from last year is being reused as their third as well this year. But I think this, this home effort is much better than the sort of seatbelt design they had last year. So I'm going to put that in decent care. I think it's a very Hull City kit. Um, I like the little white lines on the outside of the black stripes. Gives it a bit of character. And uh, yeah, I think obviously unfortunate that Keen Lewis Potter's in that photo. But uh, yeah, overall offensive decent kit. Uh, Middlesbrough next. Now, I'm not a fan of this. I'm putting this straight in the poor category. It's very, very simplistic. Uh, I think they've moved to area now from uh, Hummel, was it, last the last couple of seasons? But I'm not a fan of this uh, kit at all. I think it's very plain, very basic. Could have made it with your eyes closed. And there's a few others like that this year. But yeah, straight in the poor category for me from Borough this year. Um, now, you know what I think of uh, Hummel kits and Millwall have absolutely smashed out the park this season with their kit. I think it's got a lion from memory on the uh, in the background on the shirt. And I just think Hubble have done an absolutely brilliant job uh, with their first ever Millwall kit. Now, again, straight in the great tier category, we have the new um, Joma Norwich kit. I think it's absolutely brilliant. The pinstripes looks very classic. The collar and sleeve cuffs are very similar to the Swansea kit from last season. Um, and obviously, the Lotus sponsors change from sort of their circular badge uh, into text now, which I think fits the kit a lot more nicely and doesn't really take away from the look of the shirt. Uh, so obviously that'll be good for them to play in next year. Uh, and obviously with the new badge as well, um, adding to the classic feel of it. Uh, up next, newly announced a few minutes ago, a few hours ago, is the uh, Preston kit. And again, same as Middlesbrough, absolutely no effort put into this at all. And there's been delays as well into the announcement from the club. And it's just absolutely basic really there's nothing to it it's just a plain white shirt same as every year uh it gives me throwbacks to the season where they had jordan hugill um before he moved to west ham actually very similar just a plain white shirt navy blue collar i mean it's a typical nike shirt that blues have had um those sort of templates over the last two years um so yeah, nothing really else to say about that one uh so we've got qpr up next um it's a decent shirt. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the little tiny outlines on the stripes, leaving that white gap. Uh, the sponsor, I think, looks looks quite nice. Uh, I still like. I'm still a fan of their Royal Panda one they had uh, a couple of seasons ago. Uh, but I'm I'm not entirely. Mm, I'll put it in. A, I'll put it in there. Uh, I think it, I think it could be better, especially if they got rid of those lines. And also looking at it now, this line here along the sleeve, I'm not a fan of. Um, so I, th I think it's a, just a meh kit. It's not, it's not a great kit. It's just a QPR plain hoops, really. You know, Rotherham, I'm going to put that in decent. I think it's very nice. Uh, it's got lots of, I, I believe it's got lots of football uh, pitches on the shirt about something about the stadium and some anniversary or something. But I think it's very smart. You've got the black collar, black sleeve cuffs, white sleeves, red main body of the shirt. Decent sponsor, doesn't look too out of place. Puma again, um, done all right there. Stoke, uh, well, I was a fan of it when I first saw it and how they have all the different shorts and socks and stuff and how it's all this play your way and the fans can choose how you wear the home kit with white shorts, red shorts, black shorts, etc. I'm going to put it in decent. Mm, I'm not. It's between mare and decent. I think I'm going to put it in decent just because it's a little bit different from what we normally get from Stoke with the plain sort of, you know, red and white stripes, the Macron logo, Bet365. Um, so they've gone a little bit different. Um, it's, I mean, it's quite difficult to experiment with the Stoke kit, but I think they've done it in a, in a good way this year. Certainly better than last season's, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, Sunderland going in meh is just a plain template from Nike. It, 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 to be honest, I'm going to put it in poor as well because they're betting sponsor. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a typical Nike template for their lower, lower teams on their tier list for... Uh, their sponsorships and uh, I, th I think it's it's clean enough and it will do for the season but I, w I wouldn't be buying it if I was a Sunderland fan necessarily now Swansea they've gone a bit different with their collar I think it's a little bit of a throwback to one of their old kits I think I'm going to put it in the decent kit category I mean I'm not an I'm not a massive fan of the collar but I think the shirt itself is actually quite nice with the uh, the new badge with a little bit of blue behind the swan 
so I, I, it's not it's not horrendous, but um, it's, it's it's decent. It's decent. I, I, that's probably sums up my thoughts. To be honest on it, now the blues kit, I I'm more of a fan of it because it's a unique shirt. We're the only club in all of Nike's sponsorship deals that we're wearing a shirt with this design, which I think is quite rare for sort of a you know a Championship League One Nike team. Like you see with Preston, Sunderland, with their very basic templates, we've actually got something that's unique to us, which I think is very peculiar and how we've actually managed to do that. So I'm going to put it in decent. I'm not a fan of the betting sponsor, and hopefully we'll get a hera now that Paul Richardson looks like he's going to be taking over the club. But, um, yeah, sorry, you have to excuse me, I'm a bit old. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the shirt overall, it's a decent kit. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very templatey kit, but the fact that it's unique to us bumps it up from the mayor category for me. Uh, now Watford, I'm going to put this in. Oh, everything's going to go in decent. I'm going to put it in decent as well because it, it, it's it's just very basic, but it does it in the right way. It's not exactly a plain shirt. It's got that sort of pattern in the background on the shirt, and it makes it kind of give it a bit more character than just you know the Preston kit. Kelmer again making it, and the betting sponsor I'm not a fan of at all, but I think it's doing just enough to be in decent. It might get moved down uh, later on. Now West Brom going in great kit straight away, absolute brilliant shirt from West Brom, the little light blue diagonal thing down the stripes, the ideal boilers again, is a bit of a comic sponsor, but yeah, the classic WVA logo rather than the, the modern badge. Puma again, nice collar, decent shirt to be honest. And um, yeah, it's definitely a great kit for this year. Uh, now Wigan, I'm putting that in poor. I don't understand what they've tried to do here. I never like gradients on kits. I remember the uh, Tottenham kit from a few years ago with the gradient and then obviously Norwich when they got back to the Prem, the the time before last was the same and I'm just not a fan of it. It's a reverse gradient with a weird mix. It doesn't work for me. Um, sort of stripes going on, but then they disappear. It's just, yeah, it's, they've had a shocker there. And then very uh, much in contrast to the Rotherham Puma effort, which is very tidy. This is just an absolute mess and I would not be buying that if I was a Rotherham fan. Now we move on to Blackburn Rovers. Um, see, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the collar, especially the way that it goes reverse on the on the you know the two halves, the white and the blue. Uh, the the sponsor is just dreadful. The company totally wicked. It just doesn't. It's so high up on the shirt. Um, so I I, I put it in meh because I don't think it's as poor as it's it's not basic template. They've done something a little bit different in terms of the collar, but I, again, it's it's not a brilliant shirt. Um, now Blackpool, I'm going to put that in. Or oh, it's halfway between great kit and decent. The unveiling the unveiling of it or the unveiling of it, probably is going to put it in decent because Richard Keogh's face is now etched in my brain when he opened that box. <laughs> but obviously the diamond pattern on it, the uh, white and black collar, the Blackpool logo, util- utility sponsor. Uh, just signed Reese Williams actually from Liverpool, which is quite a good bit of business for them. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely uh, convinced that it's a great kit, but I think it's definitely a decent effort this year from Blackpool. Now, Bristol City... They've gone for a classic here with the big open collar. It's inspired, I think, by one of their old kits. But I'm going to have to put it in. Oh. I think because it's Hummel, it bumps it up to meh for me, but I'm not a fan of it. I, I think it, especially, I think they've got hoop socks as well, which you don't really see for a Bristol City kit. So I'm going to put it in the meh category just because I'm not a fan of the collar, even though it's inspired by an old shirt. I'm still not a fan of it. Um with that big red gap and just sort of just rounded off. It's not really got anything unique like a button or like even laces like they used to have in the old days. So yeah, I think that's a very meh kit. The Hummel probably bumps it up from poor for me. Um, but obviously you can see the effort that's gone into it in terms of what it's been inspired by. So, and not a betting sponsor as well, which is good. And they used to have a bet, I think. Um, so yeah, ne- next is Burnley. This is going in great kit. It's classic football shirts brilliant sponsor i'm very happy that they've managed to secure a sponsorship deal great company and um obviously it's inspired by retro effort and they've done it very well here umbro and i'm very happy with what it looks like i don't think it's the best burnley shirt of all time but i think it's a very good uh kit for this season definitely deserving on the level of millwall and norwich cardiff I'm going to put it in map just because it's very plain. It's got the bluebird on the kit uh, in the background. Uh, the sponsor I'm not a fan of, uh, and the collars and really the main reason that it's in this tier. I mean, it's an absolute shocker. It's so big and it just takes over the whole top of the shirt. It doesn't give a chance to make it look like a decent shirt that you could wear. It's sort of the collar just takes away from it all and. I wouldn't want to be wearing that out in the street or in the pub uh, with that collar around me. So definitely a meh for me, the Cardiff shirt. Now Coventry. 
it's going to go in poor. I'm going to get a lot of stick for this, but the Coventry shirt, not for me. The weird little black lines coming up, the centralised badge, not a fan of. And the way the ball sports just sort of, it overlaps it. And they haven't done the big block of white or blue that they probably would have done in other teams. But I just think it doesn't work at all. I just don't like these black lines that come up. They're not straight. They curve out to the side. I'm not sure if it's some sort of representation of the city inside the black, but yeah, it's not for me, definitely in the poor tier. So final two now, Huddersfield. Now, if they didn't have this bit of red in the collar, it would be indecent, but it's got to go in there. The the rainbow sponsor as well doesn't really match the vibe of the kit. The red umbro, I mean, if they just didn't have the red on the collar and the red umbro, it would probably be indecent, but not for me, this one. And that's it. I've got the uh, Huddersfield um, away kit there for some reason. So that is the 21 now, I think, uh, championship home kits reviewed here on Blues Focus. I hope you enjoy this video. If you disagree with any of my um, choices, then please let us know down in the comments below and we will see you in the next video.